In 1937, when Frederick Hochschild synthesized methamphetamine, a close cousin to amphetamine, who knew his grandson Walter White would carry on the family business. During World War II, German soldiers were given the methamphetamine pervitin and American soldiers the amphetamine benzedrine to keep them awake, alert, and motivated. With their widespread use during World War II and their availability to the general public, it's not surprising that amphetamine showed up in the sport world not long after the war. For example, Austrian speed skaters of the 1952 Oslo Winter Olympics fell ill from taking amphetamines. And in 1967, Britain's Tommy Simpson died from an amphetamine overdose while riding in the Tour de France. Amphetamines are not readily broken down by the body and therefore provide a long continuous boost to the central nervous system, resulting in hours of reduced fatigue, improved concentration, greater confidence, and a decrease in appetite. In sport, these effects are known to improve racing speed, strength and power events, and the blunted appetite appeals to gymnasts and wrestlers for weight loss reasons. Not only are the secondary effects of an elevated heart rate and body temperature dangerous, but amphetamines also impair judgment, meaning an athlete may push through an injury, making it even worse. Add to that the fact that amphetamines are highly addictive, and it's easy to see why they're banned by every major sport organization. And while the number of professional athletes caught using amphetamines has gone down, athletes at lower levels are using them to boost their performance, which has cost a few of them their lives. And that's no joke. As always, matchers come from peer-reviewed research.